The Canine Centre has developed almost two roles. There's a public and local outreach role, and then there's a hard science role. So looking at the dog as an athlete, looking at the dog as a companion to humans, and the way in which dogs interact in society and interact with people as well. If you're a first-time dog owner, you don't know whether the classes that you're going to are really good or if potentially they could be quite damaging. So for us, it's really important that we've created someone that's accessible for people to come to, that's good value for money and what they get is really good training. It creates an opportunity for us to develop case studies and real-world learning. And all of that research and the research outputs that we actually generate, we feed back to organising body to help develop rules and regulations into the future. It's great to have an indoor facility to be able to show our dogs off and look after the welfare of both the human and also the dog to treat us like athletes. And they really, really think about what we need as, as a partnership and, and take that forward. We have really amazing sports scientists on different campuses. We have really amazing, for example, psychologists. It's really important that we link all these areas of expertise up together so that we're all working as one and Nottingham Trent University is, is kind of leading the way with the research. We've also been interested in how dogs can integrate with students, so involving dogs in tutorials, dogs have a calming influence and so we've, we've been quite interested in how we can use that as, as, as part of the student experience. Ultimately our overarching aim is to perhaps have in effect a one-stop shop for the dog and the dog owner. We have a lovely campus with lots of dog walking opportunities. We're developing canine activity trail on site, which creates a really nice opportunity for dogs and dog owners to actually be outside, to exercise and actually bond and actually have a bit of fun as well. We want to overall improve canine health and welfare and actually massively improve the human canine interaction. It was thanks to the research projects that we've done that minimum distance between obstacles was increased from 3.6 metres to 5 metres and I think it's really important that we do disseminate that research and that we let the wider audience know that NTU are very research active within the canine field.